I firmly believe this is an issue which must be addressed by the Government of Canada. Throughout the Committee's review of this issue, I've been constantly impressed by the resolve of my, all of my honourable colleagues to work together to understand and solve this issue. In studying the statistics, personal experiences or recommendations brought to us by Committee witnesses, one thing became very clear. A veteran's experience of homelessness or lack of stable housing is something that we can and must fix together. With all the key information at our disposal, we must get past triage and head towards a long-term treatment of this issue. Veterans' homelessness is totally within federal jurisdiction to solve. We have all the tools and all the resources we need. There really is no excuse in a country as rich as ours that any veteran is homeless and living on the streets. The data needs to be there. We need to know specifically what the issues are around homelessness, why they're homeless, how they got there, how they, uh, what kind of help they need and why they need it. And that data is being uh, compiled more and more across Canada within our cities, veterans groups that want to see it happen, uh, police forces within cities who have that day-to-day, -day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week interaction with our veterans. And so that data needs to be compiled and then of course FAC does have a responsibility, and that responsibility is to provide the funding and the means to encourage uh, this to take place. We have all kinds of community groups, veterans associations and groups that, as they say, know what needs to be done and know how to do it.